Let me show you a simple way for adding moving text inside of Adobe Premiere. First, let's go ahead and add our text. So to do that, I'm gonna go up here to the graphics panel. If you don't see graphics up here, it may be under this dropdown and change it to graphics. Next, I wanna either select the typing tool here or press T on your keyboard and click in the middle of the screen and type your text. And with your text here, make sure you select the entire text. And as long as you're in the graphics panel, you'll see all kinds of option over here. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna increase the text size significantly. I'll change it to this size right here. Then we could change the font type. So I'm gonna change Arial Black here. It's gonna be nice and bold. And I'm gonna make it all caps right here. Okay, so it got a little bit big, so let's go ahead and slide it back down. Then you could change the position. That's this alignment here, so I could move it this way. And I'm gonna move it just down here, just under my subject here. And you could change the color too, so you have lots of colors to choose from. In this case, white is good. I'm gonna press done and click away. Next, we wanna decide where our text starts. As you see over here, this is my video clip. And on video track two is my text layer. I'm gonna start a little bit later. So if I just press spacebar, it's gonna go from my video to the text. So to animate this text, all I need to do is, I need to make sure this video track is selected here, V2. And I'm gonna press the up arrow, I'm gonna go to the very beginning, and then I'm gonna come to effects control right here. And I'm gonna start a position keyframe and a scale keyframe. I just need to turn these two on. Then I'm gonna go down to my timeline again. I'm gonna press the down arrow, and it's gonna jump to the very end of my clip, okay? So if I just go over here and just one arrow back, one frame back, this is the end of my clip. So I need to start another keyframe, adding a keyframe for position and scale, okay? So these are the two keyframes I have. Now, all I need to do is if I go back to my first keyframe right here, I could slide it out. So I will just go all the way over here and the other keyframe is going to be when it's in the shot. Okay, so let me just show you what it looks like here. I'm gonna press spacebar. You see it gets animated in, and obviously it's taking way too long right here. So what I need to do is go to my other keyframe, the last one. I'm gonna select both of these, and I'm gonna bring them all the way back in the beginning, okay? So now look what happens. This is my keyframe when it's out, and this is when it's in. Okay, that's much better, but we need to make it a little smoother. So I'm gonna select all four. I'm gonna control click on my Mac, or you could right click if you have a PC. And then you wanna change this to ease in right here. Okay, now if I go and press play, okay, that's much better. And my positioning wasn't perfectly center, so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna move it a little bit here. And let's see it again. Okay, perfect. Now I'll show you a quick way also, if you don't wanna use keyframes, I'm gonna delete these keyframes. You could use filters as well. So if I go to my effects panel, there is a transition right here under video transition that you get by default, and that is a slide transition. So you could use this one called push, just grab it, put it in the beginning right here, and this is what that looks like. Okay, so that's one way to do it. And you could shrink this down, and I'll press play. Okay, so same kind of effect, but with less control, you also have slide that gets you a similar effect. Okay, so you could use these and then stretch out the timing of them or use the keyframe option that I showed you. I hope you found this quick video useful and I'll see you on the next video.